Andromeda 856. Do you think that the war will end soon? Ukrainian victory, or is Russia more like the Russia? Russia has already won the war. Okay, is it is the war going to end soon? I sure as hell hope so. The devastation, the 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 number of innocent people that have been murdered in this fucking war, is horrendous. I watched a video of. Uh, I shouldn't have watched it. I've I've watched way. I followed war too much, and I told myself I wasn't going to watch the death and carnage of you. Of, I stopped. I put out a post in 2011, 2012, saying that I was going to stop following geopolitics because World War Three was coming. The wars were not going to slow down. It's going to. It was going to continue to escalate, and I wasn't going to. Um, uh, I didn't. I didn't want to follow the death and destruction. And give the day here. I'll. I'll read you what I wrote in a paragraph. Really, I'll read you what I wrote because. I really want to emphasize this, right? A lot of people say, "Oh, we couldn't see all this shit coming." Yeah, we could have seen seen this coming. What the fuck are you people talking about? You follow geopolitics, you know what the fuck is going on, right? This is political economic warfare that is absolutely insane. It's disgusting, and it could be stopped. This is this is the most unnecessary war that I know of in history, right? So this is what I said. Here, I'll link it up in uh, in the chat. So. And I'm going to read you just one, two paragraphs, two paragraphs, right? And I called this, uh, this is the title of this post. And I called it synopsis of our present predicament, what the future holds, a final note. And I treated this as my introduction to politics, geopolitics on my website. And this was a previous website that I had that got uh, knocked out. So I transferred everything over here, right? Uh, these are the last three paragraphs. These are two of the last three paragraphs I'm going to read. Quote, why George Carlin's words bring me comfort is because they imply that the problem has a solution, education. Hence my work on mathematics. The alternative that we are aware of our history and are indifferent to it is unthinkable. And this was a comment that above uh, regarding George Carlin's quote saying, Think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that, right? And then the paragraph, what I wrote, continues saying this, this via, quote, Since I have no desire to document the play-by-play -play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is to come, and since I have said what needed to be said, or as Aaron Dotty Roy would say, quote, I feel that I don't have anything direct to say, without repeating myself, end quote, will consider this post to be the introduction to politics on Chicho, and it will be the, be the last strictly geopolitical discussion we have on this site for quite some time, at least until Russia, China, Iran, or another formidable enemy of our choosing or making is duped into directly confronting NATO, or until the next major false flag sends the world into a frenzy. Okay? I think I edited this once, but I wrote this back in 20, 2014. I think I actually wrote it in 2012. Okay. So that's my take on it. Uh, I'm not sure what I was even replying to, but uh, I thought I would share that just because um, it, it, it's it, Ukraine. By the way, it was about Ukraine winning it or Russia winning it. Ukraine has lost the war. Ukraine has Ukrainians have lost their country, right? Not because of the war with Russia or the military op special military operation according to what Russia says or war with Russia according to the Ukrainian western perspective, right? But because the Ukrainians allowed puppets of NATO and neocons to be put in place to rule over them they promised peace they delivered war this was the most unnecessary war in history and if you want to know what this war is about we have a command now you can go exclamation mark ukraine okay and it links you up to to right here doop, right here two podcasts both of them with rfk jr one of them he's interviewing a historian talking about how this war came to be and the other one talking about a little bit of a history but explaining where it's going uh ukraine has lost there needs to be 
uh, or NATO has lost. It's not Ukraine, it's NATO war against Russia. And there needs to be a peace deal made. Otherwise, this is just going to expand like cancer. World War Three, And I think we're already in there.